Hey there, how's it going? This is James Tripp. This is a video for James Tripp Chaos Wave and for students of hypnosis without trance, for people who are looking to up their game as hypnotists. It is a video on nonverbal suggestion. Now, nonverbal suggestion, this is an area that doesn't get covered a lot by a lot of hypnosis teachers, and it's an area that is a big thing for me. One of the big things in hypnosis without trance is about how you can use nonverbal suggestion to really draw people into experiences. What I'm gonna share with you here in this video, this is just the front end, I'm gonna share with you a clip from the training I did back in September uh, for Mike Mandel Hypnosis in Toronto, where I'm talking a little bit about nonverbal suggestion and demonstrating the use of it uh, with a simple piece of hypnotic phenomena. So to let you know as well that the full set of recordings that this video is taken from is available currently, I'm gonna put a link around here. You can get $76 off plus the bonus of Mike Mandel's uh, Power Hypnosis Inductions course as well. So that's a little bit of a sponsorship message for the video. Let's look at this clip. Let's look at how nonverbal suggestion is being used and why. So this is utterly illegible to you. So I just, I wrote that there for my own entertainment, not to help you in any way. Um, but there's a three part definition here. So we've got the use of language and communication to direct attention, lead cognition and seed ideas for the purpose of leading someone into an altered experience of reality or an experience of reality that is different from the one they are currently in. Uh, now, a couple of points here. Why have I got language and communication? Because you don't need language. Yeah, often it's, you know, the language bit's secondary to the communication bit. Maybe that should say communication and language. In my view, what is suggested non-verbally is infinitely more powerful than what is suggested verbally. You will start to see this very shortly. Non-verbals are in the mix all the time. When I did the hypnosis skills boot camp format, I start off doing a lot of non-verbal stuff first. Why? Because when people learn hypnosis, they get caught up in language. And language, it's very easy to hook the critical faculty in with language. It's not very easy to hook the critical faculty in with nonverbals. Right? So, whilst I'm not teaching it that way, I want to make that really clear. Nonverbal communication is primary. Can I borrow your hand for a moment? Sure. See, look at that. Thank you. So that hand there in that place, in that space, what's that all about? What's that about? It's there, it's there. Just sat there. There's a curious thing. You notice this, that hand, and there's this experience of that hand. Can you feel like the vibration moving through? Like vibration moves through wood, like a solid object. Can you feel that in your wrist already, that vibration? Can you feel it? Just moving through like a solid, solid object, like a solid object, to the point where that wrist can become completely, fully solid. So as if you were to try, try and bend that, find it's just solid right there. Try and bend that wrist, solid, right there, solid. Really try, really try and bend that solid <laughs> wrist. Isn't that a curious thing? Really solid, <laughs> boom, right there. Of course it bends, bang, like that. You can bend that wrist. Thank you very much. <laughs> So thank you, thank you for that. Look at that. How much was verbal, how much was nonverbal? How much? I know not everybody can see that and I did that a bit and prompt you, I didn't bring. It was initially in nonverbal. Right. So I did say, you know, can I, can I borrow that hand? But the real suggestion was that, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the real suggestion. So what do I do? So even that time round, I go, boom, I look and I, you know, I give the, yeah, yeah, it's all there. You see, thank you very much. <laughs> now the thing about that is when you work non-verbally, people start responding. The critical faculty works in the realm of logic and language and all of this kind of thing. It doesn't work in the realm of no words. So there's a lot that we can suggest with our nonverbals to help draw people into the experience. 
So what did you make of that? Did you like this video? If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you are interested in hypnosis, you're looking for deep knowledge you won't find anywhere else, sign up for James Tripp Chaos Wave, hit subscribe, hit the notifications bell for future videos. Also make use of the comments section below if you've got any questions, any comments, anything that you want to feedback that's going to get this conversation really cooking. Okay, until we next communicate, keep on shaping your life.